Welcome to the Deal News Seller's Guide. Today we'll go over the good and bad of the Amazon brand registry program so you can decide if it's right for you. Most Amazon Marketplace brand owners and manufacturers will tell you that counterfeiters are a fact of life. If you are successful, chances are that at some point your products will be copied or picked up by unauthorized sellers. The Amazon brand registry can help, but this program isn't perfect. Here's everything you need to know. First, let's discuss the benefits of the Amazon brand registry. Perhaps the biggest benefit of registering is that this program gives sellers access to tools that can track down fraudulent retailers. You're able to conduct global searches with images, ASINs, URLs, or keywords. You can easily locate products anywhere they appear on the Internet. Then you can file a report and BAM! Amazon takes down the contraband before your copycats have a chance to win another buy box. Going through the Amazon brand registry process brings other perks, too. For one, you'll gain enhanced brand content, a tool that lets you add brand stories, text placements, and enhanced images to your product descriptions. You can also create a store if you enroll in the registry. According to Lisa Abel, the Director of Seller Services at Deal News, a storefront gives the company the ability to promote all its products in a website-like format on the Amazon platform. Further, Abel explains that Amazon likes to test new tools with brand-registered sellers. She says they seem to test perks like advertising tools with brand-registered companies. This gives brand-registered companies a leg up. However, Amazon brand protection does raise a few concerns. While registering gives you more control over your brand, some are concerned that it's just another way for Amazon to assert control over your brand. Similarly, some vendors doubt the program's effectiveness. Here's an example of how these concerns have played out. In 2017, Amazon faced a real problem. Thieves seem poised at every turn to poach, resell, or counterfeit marketplace products. In an effort to thwart this, Amazon began encouraging sellers to retain control of their images, products, and brands by officially registering them. This did not go over well with some sellers. After being hit by several lawsuits, Amazon updated the brand registry, requiring businesses that had already registered to re-register. Amazon brand registry user Jason Evage spoke to Deal News about that time in the registration process, saying, I wasn't sure we had the resources to start everything all over again. Evage owns Lenodo, a luxury linen sheets company. He says, It felt like the time and effort weren't totally worth it if Amazon was going to keep shifting their programs and policies. But the process by which Lenodo has been able to remove unauthorized sellers has proven easier than before they registered their brand even if registering comes at a cost. Evage appreciates the program, but asks, if we're brand registered, why do we have to police? That's all for this edition of the Deal News Seller's Guide. If you like what you heard, be sure to subscribe so you'll never miss a new one. And if you want to learn how you can turbocharge your Amazon Marketplace revenue and gain access to the exclusive Deal News Amazon Traffic Network, head to marketplace.dealnews.com. Or send an email to getstarted at dealnews.com. Thanks for listening.